everybody. How's it going? Happy Sunday afternoon. How are you? I'm pulled over in a rest area in the truck studio Sunday afternoon looking for a signal. So here we are. It's cold. It's 38 degrees. It's raw. It's damp. And what else would you have on a cold day but some soup, right? So let's do alphabet soup, the letter P. I got some good ones today, the letter P. So my first word with the letter P is prioritize. So if you are working on your goals, whatever your goals may be, weight loss goals, nutrition goals, financial goals, uh, clean up your barn goals, building a business goals, prioritizing is super, super important. It means you've got to actually write down the things that you want and tend to get to. Hello, Carol. Happy Sunday to you. Um, the things that you want, and then you have to prioritize them. Like, what would you do first? Obviously, you can't put the cart before the horse. Did you hear the horse analogy? There's the horse thing. I'm going to get to that in a minute. And Dawn's on. Hey, Dawn, how's it going? I'm right in your neighborhood, by the way. Hi, Jen. Thanks for jumping on. Um, so yeah, so prioritizing is really key. It's great to have this dream and this idea, but if you don't actually identify and set the goals and then put them in some kind of an order, you can't get anything really done. You just sort of like the squirrel on the wheel. So prioritizing your goals from small pieces to big pieces, really, really important. So first P word, prioritize. Second P word, persevere. All right. Persevere. So when you're on your journey to whatever you're trying to get to, again, it doesn't have to be business. This is for everything in life. Whatever your dreams and your goals are. You know, you want to have a different house. You want to live in a different state. You want to have a different job. You want to, you know, whatever it is, lose weight or change your hair. Whatever you want to do, build your business. Uh, one, set your goals and prioritize. Two, persevere. Because truthfully, the road, she ain't smooth, right? You, It is like the roller coaster. You're going to hit the bumps. You're going to hit the downtimes. You're going to hit the times where you're so frustrated you're like I don't want to do this this isn't working whoa 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 and all I'm saying to you is hang tough persevere stick with it don't give up don't quit no matter what just stay consistent and your perseverance is going to get you through those humps through those difficult times and you're going to come out on the other side and you're going to be so grateful for it because the things you've been working towards and dreaming of are going to become your reality perseverance really key stick to itiveness i gotta say honestly if i didn't have my stubborn streak and the perseverance that i have in my nature it's just my way i don't think that i would be the kind of person i am today and i don't think i would have achieved the things that I've achieved in my life so far that I wanted to because I'll tell you there were an awful lot of roadblocks and you just have to keep going you just have to look over the wall and just keep going right so perseverance second P word uh, third P word oh my gosh I had so many P words today I'm like oh how am I gonna sort them out uh, pea soup is one of them I would really think I would like to have some split pea soup it goes under S because it's split but it goes under P because it's B uh, because on a cold raw day that's what I really would like to have and I had another great P word. Oh my gosh, it's just like totally flown out of my head. Um, please is a really great P word. Please is in pleasing. Is, is something pleasing and feels good to you? And please is in politeness. Please may I have politeness. There's another one. Um, and please do things that are kind for others. So please, politeness. Those are more P words. You know what they do for you? They get you great. You know, because honestly, where do we live? Where do you live in the whole wide world? You live in the latitude of gratitude. That's the key, right? That's the thing, the latitude of gratitude. And in order to do that, how do you stay in the latitude of gratitude? You do things that are pleasing to yourself, things that are pleasing to others. You find things that are pleasant in your world, to your eyesight, to your senses. Um, you know, it, it's just like this whole morphing of stuff, really, to, to get you there. But that's really key. So let's see. I had another great P word, and it's gone right out of my head. Dang it. So we had prioritize, persevere, please, polite. Um, what, gosh, you know what? I'm going to end the video, and that word's going to come popping into my head. I hate when that happens, right? But, you know, that's just the way it is. So I think I should wrap it up. Those are the P words for now. Um, I won't use any of the bad P words like P-I-S-S-E-D off. Oh, that was a bad one. Can't say that one out loud. Uh, so we're just not going to do that. So we're going to end alphabet soup here with the letter P. And then tomorrow's kind of a hard one, but I think I got it. I think I got it. So tune in tomorrow morning. Uh, the other thing that I put in here just before I sign off that I put in the top of the description is if you want a little more in-depth about these chats that I love to do, you know how I love to talk, I'm doing a little mini-series with Miel. I know, doesn't it catchy name? Mini-series with Miel. And I put the link at the top, and it's happening in like, I don't know, like a week or so. And we're going to chit-chat a little longer. My friend Susie says, please pickle and pick. Yeah. All those pa 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 like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. There's all your P words right there. So that's the scoop on Sunday afternoon. Uh, have a great one. Stay warm if you're in a cold place. Be careful on the roads. They're a little bit slick. 
And uh, that's it for peas, right? So I'm going home to do my chores. And I will check in with you guys later. Remember to catch the link if you like it above. Share the video if you like it. And uh, that's it for, for Alphabet Soup on Sunday afternoon. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. So good to see everybody on on Sunday afternoon. I really appreciate it. And I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. And we're going to do another letter. I know. All right. See you later. Bye.